skeptic. Well, not very skeptic, but um, I just wanted to share this video with you. Um, I am a Christian, and uh, I just wanted to show you or tell you that just kind of share with you some kind of things that God has just laid on my heart and some things that uh, visions that God has shown me and um, I look all over YouTube and I see different visions that people have about heaven, hell, uh, tribulation, uh, the rapture and uh, different things like that but for this particular vision or what do you want to call it um, God gave me the meaning of it and he gave me he gave me the vision and he gave me the meaning of it <coughs> now I am a Christian and in these in these days you know you have um, you have people that portray Christianity uh, you have people that uh, they, they portray Christianity as something that's in your mind or they may think that uh, God is just something God is just a person that's just in your mind he's just in your mind you know we, we created him uh, that man created him but you know I, I don't I don't believe that at all so I'm creating this video to show you and to tell you basically I hope um, hopefully I'll be able to send this to YouTube, and this will be on YouTube, and, um, people can see it, but, um, I just wanted to share this with you, um, so God speaks to me all the time, and he gives me things to say, whether it's to people, or whether it's to, uh, a family member, whether it's to a church member, um, but he, he gives me things and about two nights ago I had a vision actually no I'll take you back to Saturday night it's the first that I've had that that kind of shook me a little bit I went to bed Saturday night and today's Tuesday I went to bed Saturday night and I had a dream that in my dream I saw it was almost like it was a CNN cast. It was a very popular news station. And in the dream, uh, you could tell it was like it was almost the rapture had already happened. And basically, you could see, it like it was, it was like God allowed me to be there, but I wasn't actually there. I saw the newscast. It was just like a screen that I saw. And this this woman she was speaking I guess she was the the, the, the reporter on that station and um, and so she was a reporter on the station and she said come get your come get your SFX chips today and uh, if you look at um, if you look in Revelation it talks about like if you look in Revelation, it also talks about the mark of the beast. How they're going to have numbers, the sixty-six on them, and uh, or they're going to have chips inserted in them. Well, basically, it was like I could see, and on top I could see people running to go get this chip, and um, it, I could plainly see it. It was called SFX chip, and. Uh, and so me and my mom, my sister, we went online and we looked at it, and uh, and we saw that it's an actual chip. It's a real chip, and uh, and basically it's used. We saw Capcom. We saw uh, different video games that are made with this chip, and and um. So you know, for those, for those. For those who just don't believe in Christ, I'd advise you that you give your life to him today because, you know, even in John, in John it talk in first, actually in first John it talks about, well, um, God, you know, God doesn't withhold anything from anybody. So if you, if you feel like that you're too bad to, if you 
feel like that you are um that you're that you've done something so bad that you can't give your life to Christ or if you feel like you're just so that you've done something so horrible that God won't forgive you but no because in first John it says that if you come to God the open heart if you come to him with the motive of repentance if you come to him like that he is just to forgive you there's nothing on this earth I've sinned uh, America has sinned there's nothing that you that that you can do that's just too much to where God can forgive you so so on to my next vision I kind of get a little shaken up about it so this next vision I had it was Sunday night and uh, yeah I'm trying to stop saying and um but this vision purely just shook me to the core so I had this it was more like a vision well God spoke this to me God spoke this to me but I kind of envisioned it so the thing is here's what God told me he said he said America has rebelled against me he said America America has rebelled against me and I've given America so many chances I've given America time after time after time I've given them I've shown them visions uh, I mean I haven't shown them vision but I've showed them signs and wonders I've showed them things I have, and he said no more and he said I she said he said America has listened to the lies of Satan. America has listened to the enemy and has turned a deaf ear to me. So because of this, America will be destroyed. He said, because America has rebelled against me, I have tried. He said, God, this is plain and clear. He said, and God said, I have given America time after time after time. I I love them. They used to America used to cry out to me. This used to be a nation under me, but now Satan has taken over. So he said there are gonna be huge rumors of war. They're gonna be huge. I mean nations he said nations after nation is gonna be wanting to destroy America. And I'm going to allow them to to destroy America. He said, I'm going to allow every nation that come against America, I'm going to allow it to happen. Because America has been so rebellious, I've given them time. I've given America time. I've given them opportunity. I've given them time. I've given them so much. But they still, they still yet do not want to believe in me. And he said, and he said, in, in the next part, the next part just shook me. He said, Russia is going to, Russia is going to send nukes to America. Uh, Russia is going to attack this year. He, he, he declared it. He said, son, this year, Russia is going to attack America with nukes. Now, he hasn't given me any preparations on moving anywhere because God has me right here. I live in Georgia, and God has me right here where he wants me. So, <clears throat> so God's got me here. And, um, uh, well, he's got me here and I love it but so that that's 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 what God showed me he showed me people rushing to get the mark of the beast it was it was broadcast and it was like it was something that wasn't new at all it was just something that was uh that was uh normal then I guess and um and then he showed he just, he just told me 
America has rebelled against me. They will not listen to my voice. They listen to the 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 the, uh, the voice of Satan. They they are rebellious. I've tried to show them signs and wonders, and they just won't listen. So he said, this year, Russia will attack the the United States with nukes, and I will let them. He said, every nation. There are gonna be rumors of war, and every nation that come that, that that comes as a weapon against America, I'm going to allow. I'm going to allow them to to have their way. I'm gonna allow them to have their way. I'm gonna allow them to to destroy America because of their rebellion. God like said, I've gotten tired of the rebellion. I've gotten tired of. Uh, I've got tired of the rebellion, I've got tired of the disobedience, I've gotten tired of it, and it ends now. It ends now. And, uh, and, and this is a warning. This is not just some thing that, that just comes from me. This is not just some, just some uh, false uh, word that, that, just, that I just came out with. No. God told me this. <clears throat> well, I'm in Eastern time. And today's Tuesday, so that means Monday, Sunday. It's two days, yeah, Monday, Sunday. It's just two days ago. And then on that Saturday, and I'm noticing that God, get, when He gives me visions and, and dreams like that, He's starting to give me, the, He's starting to give them to me uh, two days in two days. Like, for instance, November 16th and November 17th, of last year I had a dream of heaven and hell <clears throat> and for those who don't believe in that I will go ahead and share it with you um, so November 17th no November 16th no November 15th God told me he said son I'm about to show you heaven and hell I said okay God next day <clears throat> no he told me that I think he told me that the day I saw hell but that night, that night, I went to bed and uh, and I saw hell. And what was described in there, what I saw was horrific. I saw, I saw adults, I saw kids, and I saw the demons that were down there torturing them. I saw it was, I'm talking about hotter than the sun, like a billion, million, whatever you want to call it times hotter than the sun and hell is real I saw it no one could tell me that it's not real because I saw it and um, I saw it I saw demons that were going up into the earth to deceive and I saw them down there torturing and I saw Satan he was sitting on more, not more like of a chair but of something <clears throat> more like of a throne and he as he sat on the throne as he sat on the throne, he was looking down at the people who were suffering, laughing at them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, <coughs> and I, I saw that, and, uh, and each time God shows me something like that, it, sh it shakes me. And the next day, the next night, I went to bed last night. I went to bed that night, November seventeenth. I'll never forget those two days. And I went to bed that night, and I saw heaven. And uh, and heaven was. And heaven was beautiful. Heaven was beautiful. I saw. It was like, the streets were gold. I saw. I can distinctly name. I can distinctly name the gems and what I saw. I saw rubies I saw sapphire I saw lapis lazuli I saw it, the, the the streets were gold it was it was uh, it was gold I actually saw the mansions that that is listed in uh, John 14 2 when God says when Jesus said that he would prepare a place for us well I saw it was it was like it was a gold mansion gold line of gold mansions beautiful mansion then it was like a hill then another set of mansion and it was like hill upon hill of mansion and uh 
and uh and I guess I didn't see it before but I saw I saw Jesus Christ and that was an amazing thing I saw Jesus Christ I saw him it was like I saw heaven and then I saw him he was in the sky in front of me he was just smiling at me and uh, I'll never forget that now I've only told I've only told people that I only saw I didn't see him because I guess I didn't really remember it because I had just I was just excited that I actually saw heaven and I saw heaven and I saw hell so no one can deceive me and say that it's not real because I have seen it and so I just wanted to share I don't expect this to go viral even if it gets one view if it gets hundred million billion I don't care as long as I'm getting this out here as long as I'm getting it out there uh, I just want to get it out there and um, and uh, so you know I, I know there's a lot of I know there's a lot of speculation especially with people who believe in um, the Big Bang Theory people who believe in uh, uh, astronomy people who believe only in things like evolution and stuff like that and I know there's a lot of people who disbelieve in stuff like that but one thing that I just don't understand about people who believe in evolution is people who want people who don't believe in God they want proof to see him but did you need proof to see evolution? I mean, if you really think about it, <clears throat> people say they see they can see evolution and it has proof. But you can't see it. You cannot actually see it happening because why? God created everything. It's just that man has taken credit. Man see science science is a study of different things. Science is just a study of different things. It's that people take science and they use science as a, a, a way. You know, that's, 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 that's exactly why. That's exactly why there's no cure for cancer. That's why there's no cure for Alzheimer's. There's no, that's why there's no cure for different huge diseases. Because why would God give us a cure for different things that we're not trying to serve Him? We're not, we're out here trying to rep people are out here trying to set rep represent science and what did man do and what did what did they do what did man do and they're not even so you know second chronicles 714 says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves seek my face and turn from the wicked ways yet I will hear from heaven and I will <clears throat> and I will hear the land I will forgive their wickedness. I will heal their land, and uh, until America starts getting it right. Now, God gave me that vision, and He distinctly, clear as day, He told me to. He told me number one. He told me to spread it. He said, "Don't hold back." He told me to spread it. He said, "There's nothing. There's nothing now." that American can do. It's going to happen. And, and, uh, I know it's a sad thing, but, and, uh, I know, I know it's sad, but, it, that's it. So, I just want to share, just wanted to share that, no matter if, like I said, um, I don't, I don't imagine this to get so many views. If, even if it's only one person that sees this, I want, I just want, I just want to spread it. So I just want to spread it and just. I saw, I've seen heaven, I've seen hell, I've seen, I've seen a lot of things, and uh, I've seen a lot of things. So. I just want to share it with you, even if there's negative comments or positive comments. 
Okay. So I have no complaints. And uh, I just thank God for, thank God that we live in a nation. We live in a nation. We live in a nation that, that we live in a nation that is free, even though we have different people who believe in uh, different false gods. But for all you Christians out here that see this video, I, I urge you to just stay strong, just stay in the faith, just keep going, don't give up. <coughs> just stay in the faith, don't. <coughs> Stay in the faith and um, and uh, just just stay stay in the will of God. Just stay in the will of God. Don't give up on Him. Don't don't stray to the left. Excuse me. Don't stray to the left. Don't stray to the right. But just just stay because this walk with God. It's a straight and narrow. It's it's a straight and narrow path. There's no wide path. There's no big old <clears throat> There's no big old wide path. It's a narrow path. So, so that's that's the whole point of the video. I just want to share you what God exclaimed to me. And also, right quick, I just want to share you this. It's good a good thing that God brought this to my remembrance. Now, I know most of you know who. Ellen is. She's a, a, a lesbian and she uh, she has a huge popular 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 show. The Ellen Show, of course. And um, and this was last year that like, God gave me this word and it was it's actually to her. He said and if Ellen was here, believe it or not if Ellen was here, I would tell her this. <laughs> but he said, because he said because she has made lesbianism, she has made what I detest. She has made something so disgusting. She has made it to where it's good. She tries to. She has made lesbianism, and she has made communities of gay lesbian communities she has made it so comfortable she has made it so popular it's disgusting to my sight and he said because of this I'm about to strike Ellen with cancer and she won't recover from it and and uh and and God just gives me stuff like that. he get not stuff he gives me warnings like that and he just gives me stuff like that, and I believe it's for a reason. So, Ellen, if you ever see this video, you know God. See, God does not adone that because First Corinthians six and nine says, "No sexual immoral will inherit the kingdom of God." If you are, if you are lesbian, if you are gay, if you are homosexualism, if you are transgender if you are bi sexual you can't inherit the kingdom of God and that's just plain as day I'm sorry I'm uh my eyes I just woke up about 30 minutes ago I got my wash my wash my face and brush my teeth and did all the stuff I need to do so I'm sorry if my eyes look kind of baggy and stuff and but um so I just wanna, I just wanna leave this video with you, and um, and I'm, I'm thankful to God. I'm thankful for, for Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for the the Holy Spirit. I'm thankful for for them, and uh, I I hope I don't want to. I don't want this to. I don't care if it blows up or not. I don't care as long as the message of Jesus Christ gets out there so if you want to get saved if you if you don't have Christ in your life I urge you Romans 10 and 9 says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ rose that he died on the cross and rose for us and he rose the third day 
you will be saved. So if you want to give your life to Christ, I urge that you go to a Bible. If you go to a Bible app and you read that and you believe it. If you read it and believe it, you are saved. So just wanna drop that little drop that little two cent on there and and so I hope this video reaches many souls. I hope it reaches out to many people. And um and so I say God bless you and uh and I just thank God that uh, I'm just thankful so I pray that this reaches many souls and and uh God bless you. Stay strong in the faith and and uh if you wanna contact me you can contact me at bones for Jones eighteen at gmail dot com. Um, I don't give any personal personal information of course but if you wanna contact me there I am on Facebook if you want. And uh, so signing out. Just stay strong with faith and see you. See you guys later.